All right, Sagittarius, here we go. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, this is uh, Soulmate Energies for June 2023. It's a general reading and may or may not resonate with you. And I want to point that out very clearly here. Okay? That said, uh, if you found this channel or you're watching this reading, you're here for a reason. It can't just be one thing I say. That, all right? It's timeless. You're all moving at different speeds on your timeline. This can be future influence for you. All right? Pre-shuffle. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Sagittarius for June 2023. Seven Pentacles crossed by the Strength card, Hangman, and the Three of Wands bookending the Seven Pentacles. That's your pre-shuffle. It's right there. Your patience is being rewarded for some... It's being rewarded. I mean, your patience is being rewarded. At the end of the day, uh, even if you think, oh, Steve, I wasn't patient, or well, whatever it is, Maybe I could phrase it as something you've been waiting for has arrived. But this reads as you've been kind of in a hangman position, right? You've got the strength. I got strength crossing the seven of pentacles. Your patience is being rewarded here, big time. All right, there's some sort of reward coming your way, and it puts your life in on a new path. Something here is changing, and it's 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 pretty major. It's pretty important, right? You're right on the cliff. Imagine yourself on a cliff looking out on new horizons and the winds of change are starting to blow. That's kind of what I get in my mind's eye. All right. Could be love, could be career. It's soul's true purpose. Whatever that is. It's going to vary for all of you. Let's go. God, I'm getting little bits of tarot on me. But my, it's time to break out a new Lightseer deck pretty soon. All right, let's do it. It's first card outs before the cut. So why the fuck are we here? So why the fuck are we here? Okay. The high priestess. It's everything I just said. There's, there's something. It's a mystical energy. It's weird. It's not weird. Again, the only way I can describe this energy that's here is, you, is the winds of change. It's like sometimes I get that. Sometimes I'll go outside and it's windy for no reason. Weather report doesn't say it's windy. Doesn't say, no, no idea, where did this wind come from? It was calm 10 minutes ago, and all of a sudden, for about 20 minutes, there's a wind, and it's a whipping wind. I, it feels to me, sometimes it crackles, and I feel it. It's the winds of change. Every time that's happened in my life, something major has changed, right? That happened right before I started Steve's Love Tarot, right before I came out here. Right about a week before I put the first reading up, I had that winds of change kind of thing happening like that. Out of nowhere, I felt it crackle. I didn't know what it meant, but I found out pretty quick. People told me it might take you a year or six months to get your first thousand subscribers, and then, you know, maybe you'll get 5,000 in a year. It's possible. I had 5,000 my first week. For fuck's sake. King of Swords. We got 13,000 our first full month in. <laughs> it's like fucking unreal. King of Swords is after the cut. Yeah. He's sitting. But look, he's sitting. I just described you sitting on standing on the edge of a cliff, right? You there's something something's going on here. Right? It's there. It's all around you. All right. Let's shuffle the deck. Let's go. Jesus. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Sagittarius. Your readings are always like this. For June 2023, universe, let's go. Give me the energy. Your readings for me are always, you know. It's because I'm pulling in a specific audience of Sagittarians, you know. One of my lowest viewed signs. But that don't mean I don't give you full bore here on these readings. I don't care if one person is watching. Every energy is important. We're all connected. Remember that. Doesn't matter. All right. Let's see where we go. You get a full reading. Ten wands. Overall energy is ten wands. A ten. Ten. I'm just drawn to ten. But she's moving in a new direction. She's gone. She's moving in a new direction. What's fuel in this? See? Two cups. It's your soul's true purpose. This can represent soulmate. I'm not saying a soulmate isn't coming towards you, but we're just going to call it your soul's true purpose. Could be soulmate, could be career, could be whatever. Your soul's true purpose is—it's she's on the way. 
it's there. The dam is about to break, but we're at the point where you're standing outside on the edge of a cliff, looking out on New Horizons, and all of a sudden the wind starts to blow, and you, your intuition, that high priestess is saying, this is weird wind. What is this? What is this crackling? It's the winds of change. Mm, there's change right there. She's changing. She packed up a cow, for God's sake. You know, didn't even wait to save for a car. Well, just take the cow. It's fine. Right here is the soul energies around you. 3D energies around you. Your soul energy. That should be interesting. Hidden energy right here. Red with the energy of the soul energies around you. And right here is potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot predict free will. Nobody can. I will clarify everything and throw some universe cards at the end. Are you ready? Okay. You're lucky. I'm doing you after lunch. Huh? How about that? All right. Right here. Fresh. Eight cups. Yep. Soul energies around you. Just pushing you in a direction. Blowing you in a direction. The winds are at her back. And they're cross winds. She's walking toward nine cups. Walking toward something. The soul's true purpose. Right? Oh, soul's true purpose. Page of swords. I don't know what that means yet. But I got to apply page of swords energy to all of this here now. Okay? We'll see. Um, he kind of flying around on wind there a little bit maybe. Studying a book. I don't know. We'll see. It's not spying energy around there. What's the 3D energies around you? Five of Pentacles. Mm. This could imply something that felt like a loss, right? It could be. Something that feels like a loss but isn't a loss. It can be that. It's about coming in from out of the cold. The, I'm only drawn to one thing. On The cards are mediums for me. I'm only drawn to the key leaning against the door there. You're about to receive a key. Puts you, frees you from something. What's what's your soul right now? Where's where's the let's let's uh let's stick the let's stick a thermometer up the ass of your soul and see what the temperature is. Red with the eight of cups. It's the four of wands. Yeah, it had to be. I knew it had to be good. It's the four of wands. This is this is a the pathway to the ten of pentacles. A, a stable, stable new beginning energy. It's just, just look at the, there it is. That's your soul. It's rejoicing. It's, a, it's, a, it's an energy of rejoicing in a lot of ways here. But it's very stable. It, your soul knows where it's going. And, it, and that high priestess there, your intuition is picking up on it. That comes from here, right? It knows where it's going. You're about to receive a key in the 3D. Not a literal key. Could be word from somebody or somebody tells you about something that's, you know, it's like that. Okay? It's very serendipitous, whatever it is, on some level. Hidden energy. Message from the universe, red with the Eight of Cups. Yeah. Exactly what I just said. Sometimes, when I talk, you know, the universe usually pulls something that's in relation to what I'm saying. So what I say between the cards is very important to the reading. Ace of, Ace, Ace of Swords. There's that every fucking reading in June. June's about truth. It's my opening sentence and my write-up on June in my blog. And the Ace of Swords has come up almost every time. I mean, I, don't, I can't think of a reading where it didn't show up from any deck. Uh, yeah, There's, it's what I said. You're about to get a key. Something's about to happen. It's like an epiphany type energy. Right? Okay. It allows this to happen. Okay, wow. This is going to be something to clarify. I don't even know what I'm clarifying with yet. Potential final outcome. Read with that. Very interesting. Nine swords. Hmm. Same girl on the card. Both kind of head in the hand. This one head in the lap. Don't know what that means yet. No, no. I'm just being honest with you. Let's clarify with the witches. Queen of Cups at the bottom. Randomly. Okay. My desert queen though. But the tide is coming in. Alright, let's go. Eight of Cups. Why is it here? I don't know what this means. It is a card of communication. Okay? It is. I don't know what that is. I mean, I do, but I don't want to open my big fat mouth because it's... Sometimes when we move in a new direction, it creates anxiety. It's a bit of that. It's communication that comes in that is both... It's good, but it poses a problem. It, it ends a problem and creates a problem at the same time. Nines are the end in terror. Okay, that's what it's reading because it's red with sort of the five of these two girls are the same. 
So this, these energies are definitely tied together. We'll clarify it. We'll see what happens. Eight of Cups. It's not bad. But I can kind of dig this. If you can dig what I'm saying, you know what I mean. It's tricky to explain. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Yeah. Three of Pentacles. Some kind of partnership. It's a partnership energy. Some kind of partnership here. It's a very, again, it just shows up. Falls in your lap. Serendipitous. What? What's on top? It's auspicious too, so that's why this is, you know, but again, I kind of get it, but anyway, Eight of Cups, what's on top? Five of Pentacles again. Five of Pentacles over here. Again, why is that here? The Hierophant. Oh, God. Yeah, it's like a, um, I tell you this all the time in the weekly readings, and this is where it would show up here, really, to be honest, um, it, it, because this is tied with the soul. Um, you've got an energy around you it's a very protective energy. You're very protected. I think you probably, a lot of you probably already know that. Or you've seen evidence of it for a while in your life. But it's, it's protecting you from any kind of loss. And it's just, it's just the way it is. It's just, you are protected. That's all I can say. Now, you, you're going to get this key. All you got to do is put the key in the damn keyhole. Your soul is a bit of Toucan Sam here. It knows where it's going. Why is the Five of Pentacles this one here? Let's see. Let's see where we go. Your readings are always tricky. They always are. It's tough energy. I try to be careful with it because I have to be careful. I'm, I read it very carefully. Because that energy that's protecting you doesn't always let me in. It redacts a lot of stuff. Meaning blocks it. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Sagittarius. Very special readings. Yeah, you're going to get a key. No doubt. Lover's card right here. And the environmental energy around it. Your soul's true purpose will show itself to you. I had, I'll had. i give you something for your mind's eye. You're walking down the street, right? And this, this key that I'm talking about. Just a, it's just an example. Just something for you to visualize. This key. You would normally walk past it. But for some reason, because it blends in with the dirt. But for some reason, the sun is hitting it just right, and it shines, it blinds you. In other words, you won't be able to miss this. You'll know exactly where it is. It's like something out of some kind of Avatar movie or Lord of the Rings or some shit. What's on top? Yep, Wheel of Fortune. See? Turns this around. She, she, you find the key. As soon as that key shows up, bam, everything changes. It moves fast, and this wheel can't be stopped. It's a juggernaut. It can't be stopped. Once it starts moving, it's moving. Keys on the way. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Ten swords. Again, ten. Ten is the end and dead end that leads to a new beginning. And I've already got the Ace of Swords here. So this is here. Again, when you find this key, it puts an end to a part of your life. And I think that's where the anxiety comes from. I, I do. I, we always... Change is difficult because with change, it's like losing a relative. You know, someone dies. A part of you is dying. Change is tough, right? It always is. As much as I, for, I'll give you an example. As much as I, I, I've grown to dislike living where we're living right now, right? I've spent the better part of 13 years of my life here. The day I close the door and we walk out into somewhere else, there's going to be a bit of, a little bit of that, right? A little bit of that, a little bit. As I'm saying goodbye to a long period of time, I've done a lot here. I've accomplished a lot here, right? That's kind of the energy that's there. It's the best way I can describe it, okay? Why is the four of wands here? Why is the, oh, okay, calm down, universe. Jesus. Nine of Pentacles crossing this. It's just your soul is liberating itself. Itself. I mean, it's on autopilot. This is an independent energy, right? Independently wealthy, but it's in a soul position. We have to take it in context. The way the energy is, and I said it, the way the energy is reflecting here, the soul is on autopilot. It's driving. It's driving all of this. But it's in part because of this Hierophant energy that's around you. It's pushing you in directions, protecting you from a lot. What's, what's on top? 
three of pentacles, uh, three of cups. I'm sorry, three of pentacles was over here, right? It was the crossing card. Uh, three cups, celebration energy. It's the flow of emotion. Your, what is the three of cups here? Queen of Swords. There is a truth that is emitting, radiating from your soul that might make you emotional, but if you listen to it, it's part of where that key is coming from. Okay? All right? And that's the best I can tell you. It's a general reading. What do you want me to say? There is a truth that is, is radiating from your soul. That's why the high priestess is why we're here. You've got to listen to it. Don't push it back. It might make you very emotional. It could, but it's for your greater good. All right? You won't find the key that I'm talking about here, whatever that key is to you, an opportunity, someone you run into, uh, something inside yourself, whatever it is. You won't find it if you don't allow your soul to radiate what it's trying to radiate. Let's talk about this Ace of Swords. That, that leads us right to here because she's holding the Ace of Swords. So let's go. Why'd you give me this epiphany energy universe? Why? Oh, I got it. I got it before I even throw the card. You knowing about this protective energy. I keep mentioning it, right? I mentioned it in the weekly readings and all of that. You knowing about this protective energy is important. It's why you're here. It's so that you know. It's so that you take some chances. So that you don't worry. So that you do allow yourself to feel what you need to feel. There's something very important. The universe wants to say this. It's important that you know about this energy. Or maybe I'm telling you about it for the first time. Or maybe I'm just confirming it for you. Doesn't matter. You need to know that it's there. Okay? It, it's, it's helpful to know that. Right? I mean, I'm not a very big guy. I'm an average sized dude, right? So I try not to walk into a bar and have a big mouth, right? Pick on the big bodybuilder at the end over there. I'm not going to do that, right? But if I had some giant walking behind me as a bodyguard, I might get a little lippy, you know? If somebody got, you know, I might, I might be a little braver than I would normally be. Well, that's, that's why the universe wants you to know about this energy. It's that big giant walking behind you. You're perfectly fine. <clears throat> Somebody gives you lip, you give, lip, you give them lip right back. You know, kind of a thing like that. It wants you to, to have confidence in this energy, in this flow, and what's coming up here. And I said all that before I even threw the fucking cards. And yep, I'm right. Nine swords. It's right here, and it's right here. Have no fear. There's nothing. Nine swords is a false sword of Damocles. Sword of Damocles is held up by a hair. It, it could fall at any time. These are bolted to the fucking wall. Right? With three-eighths inch bolts. They're not going anywhere. You're fine. You're supposed to know about what I talked about here around that Hierophant. That protective energy. What's on top? Nine cups. Mm. The energy is directing you toward your true happiness. That true happiness, the reason the nine swords keeps coming out, especially here, may not be exactly what you imagine. And I get that a lot with people, okay? You know, it, things never go exactly as we imagine. They don't. You know, you can exaggerate it if you want and look at Chevy Chase's vacation and see how that went. He had it all planned out. Nothing went right. Everything ended up at the end of the day. Everybody got what they wanted, you know, with the exception of John Candy who got shot with a BB. But aside from that, everybody got what they wanted. This energy is directing you towards your nine cups. It's reliant on your soul energy and your intuition, all right? And it's trying, it wants you to know about it so that you don't get in this nine swords. You don't worry about anything. You're fine. If it looks like things are going bad, they're not. There's a key that's trying to present itself to you. Some kind of epiphany is going to happen here. Why is nine cups here? Yeah, the king of cups right there. Ah, Something is about to make itself known to you. This is tied to why the Nine of Cups is here, which is on top of the Ace of Swords, which is an epiphany energy. Something's about to make itself known to you. It could be a, uh, someone who's interested in working with you. Someone's going to tell you how they feel would be the energy, but it can play out because this is more about soul's true purpose. It can play out many different ways, right? Someone's going to express some kind of interest in you and let you know. That is going to be a key indicator for you, all right? And it might be something that makes you nervous. You don't have to be nervous. Whether it's love, career, whatever it is, 
It's, it, it appears to be for your greater good. And I say appears because, again, I got to cover my ass, make your own decisions, do play your life however you want. You know, these readings are for entertainment purposes. I ain't nobody's entertainment, but the, I have to say that here on YouTube. These readings are for entertainment purposes. Right? We have to say that. But make so make your own damn decisions. But this is wild. Now we're going to get more info on this Nine Swords. Final outcome, Nine Swords. Why is it here? Oh shit, if I get the world crossing it. Oh no, I'm not. I get it now. Four Swords. Right? Ah. Uh, it's, it's very strange to say this. This card has a lot attached to it. This is, again, this ties to the High Priestess. This is about shutting down the brain and just allowing your soul and your intuition to flow. If you don't do that, you'll drive yourself crazy here. Okay? Because, and the universe does this. Sometimes to give us, to point us in the right direction, we got to go down some bad roads. Sometimes we got to go down some bumpy roads before we get to the paved road. It's okay. You're protected. You got that big giant behind you. It's fine. Whatever that energy is, it's very powerful. Certainly, it's more powerful than I am. I tell you that. It might be the warlock on the hill. I'm not. What's on top? Yeah, it's very powerful. Very mysterious. The moon. It's a hidden energy protecting you. You're fine. It's saying the same thing. It's the same fucking thing. And, and hidden forces. Things beyond your control. We got hidden energy in the why we're here position. We've been talking all about this. This is red with the wheel of fortune. It's making things happen. You're fine. Just let it do it. You only slow it down when the, when this gets in the way. Okay? And the nine of swords is always nonsense. Why is the moon here? The two of swords. I like that. I'm going to pull one more off of that just for fun. And it's the hermit. Right? Again. Same thing. Because I was going to read this this way. Two swords. These are swords. It's two. It's a lot of thought. It, believe in yourself at a crossroads. This nine of swords just confuses things. There are hidden energies going on working in, on your behalf that you're unaware of. Alright? Trust them. Just like this is my hermit. This is the soul energy. Right? Your soul is leading the way. This is talking about shutting down the brain and letting the soul and intuition kick in. He's fine. He's not even looking. There's a cliff here. He's fine. Just keep going. He's protected. He can float. It's perfectly fine. You don't need a bridge. It's all right. It's good. Don't get yourself confused. Don't get freaked out if well, you know you find yourself at a crossroads or you've you've been on a bumpy road for a little while. You are very protected. I mean, re I'm telling you, really protected. So, but you've got to trust your intuition. You've got to trust your soul. All right. And there's. Again, that there's some some truth, something trying to break through might make you emotional, but it is for your greater good. Let it flow. Let the soul energy flow. All right, your soul is very. Your soul is the shit. It is it really is. It's the four of wands represented by the hermit here. It's that's awesome. All right, let's go back to the lights here. Let's pull three cards. What else the universe want to tell you? Anything? You got anything you want to tell them, universe? What do you want to tell Sagittarius? Give me three cards from the bottom and a crossing card. What is your soul's true purpose? Well, it's thousands of you watching, at least a few thousand. I assume it's different for all of you. <laughs> I assume for, for a lot of you, this is, this is career or work related. Okay? Something you're doing that's for the greater good of things. I got five swords here. I've got ten cups here. And I've got a tower falling on my coffee house guy. The reason I make coffee at home right here. Okay? Again, if you get in your head, you'll be in short-sighted. You've got an invisible energy back there working for you. Right? It's making things happen quicker than you think. This right here is about a soul's true purpose. It is about working toward that nine pentacles. Right? Liberate the soul. Nine pentacles crossing here. It was there. Is working towards that. It's something to do with your purpose in life. Whatever it is, it's to it's either to bring you this or to spread this to others. That's it. And again, it might be a very specific message. I don't know. If you're someone who's like Steve, I'm just 
I live behind a 7-Eleven and you know whatever okay fine you live near a dumpster behind a 7-Eleven that's good you get all the old food right you could steal the Wi-Fi their password slurpy one that's great but that doesn't mean you don't have a soul's true purpose you know and it doesn't mean that at all um, and there it is three Pentacles there's a new beginning it's gonna happen very quickly don't get in your head about it and don't be short-sighted because it not, might not be exactly what you think it is okay that's all I can tell you you're, you're each of you has their own soul's true purpose but if you're here you're here for a reason could just be one thing I said or could be future influence for you or both all right that's your reading I hope it was helpful if you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right. Good luck.